Hey everyone, it's Daniel here from InfraRest. Hope you're all doing well. So let's talk about inflation, right? Everybody's forgetting about the data and inflation with the SIB story that's going on with the regional banks and whatnot, which is very important. But let's take a look at CPI, the CPI numbers that came out today. It's very important as well because we had the Fed coming out next week and they're going to come out and uh, talk about their plans for interest rates, maybe hike interest rates, maybe not. It's going to be very interesting. But let's take a look at CPI. So the core CPI numbers year over year came in in line, expected was 5.5. The actual numbers came in at 5.5. The headline year over year number came in at 6% and the actual came in at 6% versus the expected was 6%. So that's also in line. The month over month number, the headline number came in also in line at 0.4%. However, the core CPI came in slightly higher at 0.5% versus 0.4. Now the real earnings component came in negative versus prior months, which is which was a positive number and that number was also revised a little lower. So what does this report tell us? So the report basically shows us that, hey, you know, certain areas of the sectors you're seeing, like for example, energy, yes, prices are coming down in certain energy and fuel and whatnot. However, certain areas are still seeing elevated levels, still seeing levels of high inflation, even though it has ticked down compared to the previous months, especially when you look at the year over year, Headline number 6.4 down to 6%, and the core number year over year 5.6 to slightly down to 5.5%. But when you look at the food component in the CPI report, and when you look at also the shelter component, you see that the number is still high. And let's not forget about the Fed's favorite number now that they came out with, which is the CPI Core X Shelter. Now, when you look at the CPI Core X Shelter, you see that this number takes out shelter, which we've heard from, from the Fed, that shelter components expected to be higher, which is why we saw in today's report, yes, shelter is still high and it's sticky and whatnot. But when you, when you look at the number, yes, the number has somewhat come down from its peak, but when you look at the monthly rise of plus 0.43%, this is the highest number since September. So you're still seeing problems in certain areas, and especially when you go to the grocery stores and whatnot, you still see inflation still elevated in that area, which makes you think that what will the Fed do now when it comes to hiking rates when one, you have this inflation issue and plus you still need to get to your 2% target and you've got these bank failures that are happening, right? The regional banks, now they've been, you know, um, safeguarded by uh, the Treasury and the Fed coming out saying that they're going to give all the depositor, depositors their money back, right? Which is very, very interesting. Have, there's another topic we'll discuss about that later on. But definitely the CPI report does tell us that, hey, inflation is still not at the 2% target, which may suggest that the Fed may have to do something or may pause until this regional bank issue is solved with. So it'll be very interesting to see what's what's important now going forward in the next coming days or actually for the next week is the Fed meeting because the Fed meeting, all eyes on the Fed meeting because that's when you're going to get the interest rate decision. That's when you're going to get the dot plot. That's when you're going to get also the uh, Fed's projections. And it's going to be very interesting because just one or two weeks back, the Fed was telling us and the Fed was sounding very hawkish and telling us that they may need to move rates higher than what they were expecting. And they may have to do faster rate hikes, which is the 50 basis point rate hikes rather than 20, 25 basis points because the inflation is not coming down. 
So it'll be very interesting to hear from the Fed next week if they deviate from that and how and if they do start to sound dovish, what will it look like in terms of inflation and policy going forward? So let me know what your thoughts are. Leave a comment below, subscribe, hit the like button and the bell icon to be notified on the next video. And I'll see you guys around. Cheers. Bye.